Well, greetings, church. Pastor Tony Huasen here again. Great to be with you today. We're going to continue in our series, What the New Testament Teaches. And today we're going to continue, and our topic is going to be generosity. We're going to talk about generosity. Isn't that just a wonderful topic? Generosity. And why don't you turn in your Bibles to Psalm 19, and verse 1 through to 2. Psalm 19, and we'll read verse 1 through to 2. All right, as per usual, remember you can pause this recording right here as we go into prayer. You can find your scripture and you can pray with us, or you can pause it after the prayer as well. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you, Lord, that we can indeed gather in your name. Thank you, Father God, for the glorious joy of serving you, of knowing you, of, of understanding who you are in our lives. And Father, as we, we break bread together, we welcome your Holy Spirit, we pray your counsel, we pray your guidance, your leading, your revelation, as we break bread. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Great Church, Psalm 19. Psalm 19, verse 1 and 2 from the New King James Version reads as follows. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. Lord, bless the reading of his word. I think, in actual fact, if we continue to read in this piece of scripture, we can actually read to 3 and 4 as well. And that, that reads as follows. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set the tabernacle for the sun. You see... From this psalm, we learn that God's creation, the heavens and the earth, do this, declare the glory of God. They declare the glory of God. Secondly, they proclaim the work of God's hands. They proclaim the work of God's hands. Thirdly, they, they pour forth speech. They they pour forth speech and they display knowledge. They display knowledge. Do you know, church, we truly can learn from God's creation if we examine it carefully. Just as there are physical laws which bring order out of the chaos in the universe, God has also put into motion spiritual laws. Spiritual laws which govern life. Now one of these is the law of generosity. And this teaches us very clearly in God's word. It teaches us this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Wow, isn't that a wonderful piece of scripture? Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. See, as, as partners with God, it's important for us to understand where responsibilities lie. As partners with God, you can read 1 Corinthians 3, 9 with that. It's important for us to understand where responsibilities lie. Well, firstly, our responsibilities lie with God. They lie with God. When I read Psalm 24, 1, it reads as follows, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's. Ownership is with God. We are not 
owners, but we, church, are stewards. All ownership is with God. Every single created thing, living or not, ultimately belongs to Him. Including everything material or, in fact, including everything immaterial that we may personally have in this life. Possessions, careers, families. They all belong to God. He, that is God, has given us all these things for us to enjoy. God has given us all these things for us to enjoy. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 reads as follows. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who gives us richly all things to enjoy. That's right, church. God has given us all things for us to enjoy. And when we realize that they still belong to God, we can rest in that assurance that God is ultimate responsibility for them. All things belong to God. I pray that this would rest on your heart as we break bread. We'll continue tomorrow and we'll be talking about stewardship and that stewardship rests with us as we continue with generosity. Shall we pray? Father God, Lord, as we break bread on this little mini-study on generosity, we pray that every single point that we would address would have the anointing of your Holy Spirit on it, and that we'd be challenged, and that we would, after this little mini-devotion, that we would bow the knee and bow our heads, and that we would seek your face, and that Holy Spirit would be set aside to be able to minister to us. And Lord, that we can be obedient to your steps, your challenge, your, your revelation for our lives as individuals. And then we pray as your church. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you, church. Have a great day.